In the vast expanse of the Red Sea, a lone Harrier jet becomes an unexpected hero in a modern tale of aerial warfare. How did a seemingly outdated jet manage to intercept and destroy advanced enemy drones in a critical showdown that could alter the course of regional tensions? Meet Captain Earl Earhart, the skilled pilot of the AV-8B Harrier II, whose quick thinking and expert maneuvers brought down seven Iranian drones deployed by Yemen's Houthi rebels. Join us on the Geoland channel as we dive deep into this high-stakes encounter, exploring the technology, tactics, and sheer audacity involved in this remarkable military feat. Unpacking the Geopolitical Powder Keg The Red Sea, a critical global shipping lane, teams not only with commercial vessels but also with geopolitical tensions. Here, the interests of major powers and regional actors collide, making it a hotspot of military activity. In the skies above these strategic waters, Captain Earl Earhart and his AV-8B Harrier II played a pivotal role in a confrontation that would test the resolve of nations and the capability of military technology. The Harrier, known for its unique ability to take off and land vertically, has served various air forces around the world since the 1960s. Despite being overshadowed by more modern aircraft like the stealthy F-35B, the Harrier remains valued for its agility and versatility, especially in scenarios demanding quick deployment and flexible response. Captain Earhart, a seasoned pilot with years of experience, was tasked with a mission that leveraged every aspect of his aircraft's capabilities. As tensions escalated over the Red Sea, the presence of Iranian-backed Houthi drones threatened not just the security of shipping routes, but also posed a direct challenge to U.S. naval operations in the area. This incident was not just about a skirmish over international waters. It was a litmus test for the effectiveness of older, yet proven military hardware against newer forms of warfare, represented by unmanned drones. As we explore this critical engagement, we delve into the intricacies of the military hardware, the strategic importance of the region, and the skilled individuals who operate at the intersection of these dynamics. How a lone Harrier defied modern warfare. On a day marked by clear skies and high tensions, Captain Earl Earhart patrolled the skies above the Red Sea aboard his AV-8B Harrier Dexu. It was during this routine surveillance that the unexpected occurred. Multiple drones, identified as Iranian-made and operated by Yemen's Houthi rebels, were detected approaching a critical maritime route. These weren't ordinary drones. They were equipped with sophisticated surveillance and possibly armed capabilities designed to disrupt and potentially damage key naval assets. The strategic goal was clear, to challenge the naval dominance and security measures enforced by the U.S. and its allies in the region. As the drones maneuvered towards their targets, Captain Earhart was tasked with intercepting them. The engagement rules were straightforward, identify, engage, and neutralize the threat. What followed was a display of aerial prowess and tactical precision rarely seen in modern conflicts. Utilizing the Harrier's vertical takeoff capability, Earhart quickly positioned himself above the drone's flight path. With a calm demeanor shaped by years of training, he locked onto his targets one by one. The Harrier's weapon systems were activated, and within moments, the drones were successfully engaged and destroyed. This incident not only showcased the Harrier's enduring capabilities, but also underscored the evolving nature of aerial and maritime warfare. The successful downing of the drones served as a strong message about the readiness and resilience of U.S. military forces in the face of emerging threats. The Harrier's Secret Tech Against Drones in the aftermath of the incident over the Red Sea, it becomes essential to understand the technical intricacies that allowed an aircraft like the Harrier, designed decades ago, to effectively counter modern unmanned aerial threats. The AV-8B Harrier II, a marvel of engineering, is equipped with technology that enables vertical takeoff and landing, commonly known as VTOL. This capability is crucial for operations in confined spaces like the decks of amphibious assault ships, where traditional runway setups are impractical. The Harrier's agility is facilitated by its pivoting nozzles, 
which direct jet thrust downward for liftoff and transition to horizontal for forward flight. This unique feature allows for rapid deployment and repositioning, critical in countering the fast-moving and unpredictable drone threats. In terms of armament, the Harrier can be equipped with a variety of weapons suited for both air-to-air -air combat and ground support missions. For this specific engagement, the Harrier utilized AIM-120 AMRAAM missiles, designed for precise targeting and destruction of airborne threats at varying distances. This missile system's advanced rotor-guided targeting technology was pivotal in locking on tow and neutralizing the small and Aguila drones. Furthermore, the Harrier's radar systems and electronic warfare capabilities enable it to detect and engage targets before they pose a real threat. This preemptive capability is vital in modern warfare, where the element of surprise can often determine the outcome of an engagement. By leveraging these technological assets, Captain Earhart's Harrier was not just a relic of past military glory, but a testament to the enduring value of adaptive strategies and technologies in contemporary conflict scenarios. As we delve deeper into the technical aspects of the Harrier, we gain a greater appreciation for the blend of old engineering and new tactics that define 21st century warfare. Tactics that turn the tide. <laughs> In dissecting the tactical execution of Captain Earhart's engagement with the Iranian drones, we uncover a masterclass in aerial combat strategy. The incident was not merely a matter of deploying an aircraft to intercept a threat. It was a calculated orchestration of advanced flying techniques, situational awareness, and precise weapon use, all under the pressures of real-time combat. Initially, Captain Earhart utilized the Harrier's superior maneuverability to gain a tactical advantage. By exploiting the aircraft's VTOL capabilities, he could maintain a hovering position, giving him a unique vantage point from which to assess and engage the drones as they approached. This ability to pause mid-air, unlike traditional jets that require continuous forward motion, provided a significant strategic upper hand. As the drones closed in, Earhart employed a mix of radar and visual tracking to maintain constant surveillance on the targets. This dual approach ensured no drone could slip through undetected, a crucial factor when engaging multiple threats simultaneously. The integration of the Harrier's sensor suite with its weapon systems allowed for seamless transition between tracking and engagement, minimizing response times and maximizing threat neutralization efficiency. The tactical choice of weapons was also pivotal the use of air-to-air -air missiles, specifically selected for their reliability and precision, ensured that the drones could be engaged at a safe distance, reducing the risk to the aircraft and pilot. Each missile launch was carefully timed to intercept the drones at optimal points in their flight paths, ensuring a high probability of success. Moreover, the broader tactical framework involved coordination with naval assets and other surveillance systems, creating a comprehensive defense network. Captain Earhart's actions were not isolated, but part of a coordinated effort to protect strategic interests in the region. Through this detailed analysis, we see how tactical proficiency, combined with technological capability, plays a crucial role in modern military engagements. Captain Earhart's handling of the situation exemplifies how well-planned and well-executed tactics can effectively counter even the most modern threats what today's warfare tells us about tomorrow. As we reflect on the successful engagement between Captain Earhart's Harrier and the Iranian drones, it's imperative to consider the broader implications of this event on international military strategies and the future of drone warfare. This incident not only highlights the evolving landscape of military technology, but also underscores the increasing significance of drones in geopolitical conflicts. The ability of a traditional manned aircraft like the Harrier to effectively counter advanced unmanned systems challenges the narrative that newer technology invariably supersedes older models. It prompts a re-evaluation of existing military assets, advocating for a balanced approach that incorporates both legacy platforms and modern innovations. 
The incident also sheds light on the tactical versatility required in modern warfare. As unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, become more prevalent and sophisticated, the need for responsive and adaptable defense mechanisms becomes more critical. This scenario exemplifies how traditional air power, when augmented by advanced targeting and surveillance capabilities, can offer a robust counter to drone threats. Moreover, the downing of the drones by a U.S. aircraft over the Red Sea has implications for international law and the rules of engagement. It raises questions about sovereignty, the use of airspace, and the legal ramifications of drone warfare. These considerations are becoming increasingly significant as drones are more frequently employed in various conflict zones around the world. Finally, this incident likely influences future military procurement and strategy, highlighting the need for systems that can adapt to a range of threats, including low-cost but strategically significant drones. The successful use of the Harrier in this context may inform future decisions on military spending, development, and tactical doctrine, potentially leading to a resurgence in interest in versatile, multi-role aircraft capable of both traditional and unconventional missions. In summary, the engagement over the Red Sea serves as a case study in the integration of old and new military capabilities and offers valuable lessons for future conflicts where the synergy between manned and unmanned systems will be critical. Join the quest for truth. As we conclude our exploration of the remarkable encounter between Captain Earhart's Harrier and the Iranian drones, we are reminded of the enduring value of skill, strategy, and courage in the face of evolving threats. This incident not only demonstrated the tactical prowess required in modern warfare, but also highlighted the critical role of adaptive technologies in maintaining global security. But beyond the specifics of this engagement, our discussion today touches on a broader mission of the GeoLand channel. Here at GeoLand, we are committed to bringing you content that delves deeper than the mainstream narrative, exploring truths that others might shy away from. This commitment to truth is vital in a world where information can be as strategic as any weapon. Our ability to continue providing this unique perspective depends on your support. Every view, like, and share not only spreads the word, but also empowers us to uncover and share more truths. In an era where voices like ours are often drowned out by mainstream channels, your engagement is crucial. If you value the insights and detailed analysis we provide, consider subscribing to our channel. Help us grow and improve by sharing our videos to reach more viewers who seek the truth beyond the headlines. Together, we can ensure that important stories are told and that the pursuit of truth remains strong. Thank you for joining us today. Keep questioning, keep supporting, and stay tuned for more content that challenges the expected and explores the extraordinary.